Good morning all. Um, bit of good news in uh, in the forex and world. Well, the forex world, but the uh, the world economy is that China's economic activity picks up as uh, firms reopen. They were the first really um, to kind of stop the spread and reduce the spread and deaths of the. Um, uh, of the virus even though obviously that's where it originated from and it makes sense i guess so um when whenever there's uh, something called a v-shaped recovery this is what they kind of talk about where you know you get that kind of hard in hard out v-shape so um china's uh producer manufacturing index um you know is pretty much back to um uh pre-coronavirus but um, it's just one um, uh, data point uh, the rest of the world is still battling the um, the coronavirus uh, China is in isolation and uh, again uh, Clyde Russell says it would be brave to say that China has achieved the v-shaped economic recovery off the back of a rebound in the March PMIs, but um, it is an encouraging sign. Unfortunately, it's probably not a template for the rest of the world. Absolutely, it's not a template for the rest of the world. So, um, yes, you probably you may see some you know some sentiment, uh, positive sentiment in the stock market, and I think you probably are, which was here. I think I posted this. Uh, you know. European markets bounce on China's data beat, but what has that got to do with China? I mean, I guess the, the the thinking behind it would be, well, if China has recovered, then the rest of the world had hope. That would be the logical conclusion. But it's the quest. It's a question of when does the world have uh, the rest of the world have um, hope that they can return back to normal. That is the key question. Like we like nobody knows how the spread of the coronavirus is going to affect and the death tolls etc is going to affect each economy there are some economies that might come out of it quicker than others like you know china and depending on the measures some economies that might develop some sort of vaccine etc so um economically it's um it's basically uh, i guess a race uh, to just protect GDP numbers. So you have to think of um, a currency's strength and weakness in that way, right? So let me just uh, grab a pen. So you have to think about it in terms of, you know, when we're trading, uh, let me grab something red to that light up. Um, if you're trading the EU, for example, Euro dollar, you have to think about it in terms of which one is going to recover first? Who is likely to recover first? Same thing with if you were trading uh, pound, I don't know, yen, for example. You know, which one is going to recover? Which economy is going to recover first? Who's going to, you know, battle and beat this coronavirus? Because the one that looks like uh, containing and getting back to work quicker. Yeah, this is a, this is a trade idea. Could be right, could be wrong. This is not trading advice, but this is what makes sense to me. Um, the 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 economy that um, that gets back to work quicker is going to be the one that you probably want to buy in the short term. Because if the U.S., for example, are absolutely struggling with GDP, yeah, GDP. Um, it's terrible, and it, you know. Yet Europe have got a handle on that. You see what I'm saying? They've they've stopped the spread of it, and um, you know they're getting people back to work quicker. Yeah. Then the uh, unfortunately, as much as I don't, <laughs> I haven't bought the you know the euro for maybe three years or something like that against the against the dollar. Um, I'm going to be a buyer of Europe. Of, of the euro yeah because they are going to get back to work quicker if the us are struggling yeah if come april may june whatever it is i mean we're in nearly april but let's say for example june yeah and the us are just battling it they cannot get rid of it and europe are seeing you know green shoots etc the recovery then the e the euro is going to be the one to buy because economically you know they're they're further ahead, and they're going to be further ahead. So almost this is kind of like a little bit of a reset, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Potentially, 
So that is a trade plan. You know, that makes sense to me. And this is how we develop trade plans. Um, you know, when we look at, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the fundamentals and, and sentiment and risk sentiment. Yeah. So this is basically what I'm looking at. You have to look at the data. You have to look at what's going on in the news. I know some people don't like reading the news and it is depressing every single day. It is, it is just seeing death toll after death toll, etc. It is very, very depressing. But, um, if you do want to trade, you know, this event, this is one of the ways that you're going to, you know, um, have to So you're going to have to, but, um, maybe you should start to look at the virus. Everybody's in the same boat at the moment. It's affecting everybody. Who's going to be best placed to weather the storm? Yeah. And come out of the storm, um, uh, best placed. So guys, um, again we just keep our eye on things to come this is you know a very very um uh, small um and localized um sentiment yeah, china are an anomaly italy of and spain are obviously um you know and and the uk and everybody else are way you know far behind china so um yeah it's all about looking at what economy potentially is best placed to uh to, to, to grow first. All right, guys, you take care and I'll see you in the room. So if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone forex strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.